cat. This Max one is here. Just a little video about this old Sterling, uh, <laughs> surprisingly enough, American made. This is a plastic unit converter, slide rule style. And I thought this was kind of interesting. It actually has duplicate scales. What we have is a progressive scale that's tuned along with these arrows for your conversions. And so it's actually calculating in real time. The scale does repeat on each half of this ruler as well as top and bottom. So the same scales in quadrants, one, two, three, four. And depending on your conversions, it may use this quadrant or may use a combination of two quadrants. And so for something, for instance, calculating meters to feet, what we can see here is this is actually gonna use two sections of the scale. And if we do something like move the arrow for meters real close to the number three there, this little line here is just to help you guide and line things up if you really want to get super accurate. Follow it over and we would see that three meters is, maybe we'll use this, nine and three quarter feet. Actually, I think I'm just a little bit off if I, this is always the nice thing about slide rules. So it's a little over, it's about 9.8 feet, maybe still nine and three quarter feet. And so that's how it works. And to tell you the truth, this is kind of a neat desk item just for basic conversions, if you, such as five square meters here. Get that lined up to the five. We can see this is square feet by 10, so five square meters is right around 55 square feet. Definitely pretty handy. And of course, miles and kilometers, three miles would be somewhere in the range of four and seven eighths, 4.8 kilometers. Now, the other interesting thing about this is, of course, you can flip it over and it, the orientation always, of the letters always stays the same as with the scale. Slide this in the other way. And now we have volumetric measurements. We have things like metric tons and short tons, gallons to liters, cubic meters to cubic yards, cubic inches to cubic centimeters, and so forth. So you have a volumetric scale on one side and you have a linear scale on the other. And so I kind of thought this was neat as far as a basic low value. Obviously, you're very limited to these lower values. But it's kind of interesting to show that in a unit converter, a system like a slide rule, can easily be pretty fast and the numbers that it can calculate easily as fast as picking up a phone and opening up a com unit converter or even, you know, asking a smart assistant. This thing is really pretty good. You know, if you have five centimeters, you just line up the arrow to the five centimeters. And as soon as you just spent the moment to line up that arrow, all you have to do is look up your answer. And five centimeters is about one and 15 16 inches, just a little less than two inches. So easily, competitively fast. And so uh, I kind of thought that was neat as I was fiddling with it. Slide rules as far as unit converters are actually uh, uh, quicker and a little easier to deal with than more complicated slide rules such as this picket. And uh, this is what a really nice one, you know, powder coated, laser etched, uh, solid aluminum with just a huge amount of conversion chart scales and decimal conversions for a complete 64th decimal uh, conversion scale from 1 64th all the way to one inch. You need like a magnifying glass to use this. So this is what a nice aluminum uh, slide roll would look like. So this is definitely made to be just a little bit cheaper and just handy and mainstream. But I was just once again fascinated that it actually is just as useful now as it was the decades passed when it was made. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.